What's going on, guys? Hey, I wanted to come back to you and bring you a couple of clips from Piers Morgan. And Piers Morgan is talking to a Black Lives Matter activist and organizer. And she's trying to convince Piers that what happened in Memphis was the result of white supremacy. Now, five black police officers were, were charged with beating this guy and killing him in a city that's majority black with the black chief of police but white supremacy is to blame but if you want guys please like subscribe and leave a comment thanks really so black people killed a black person and that's racist. Well, Black Lives Matter issued a statement saying that all police represent the interests of capitalism and impel state-sanctioned violence. Anyone who works within a system to perpetuate state-sanctioned violence is complicit in upholding white supremacy. So these five black police officers were white supremacists, apparently. Jamil Hill from The Atlantic agreed, explaining the entire system of policing is based on white supremacist violence. Again, apparently nothing to do with just five horrible thugs wearing police uniforms killing a black man. It was apparently about racism and white supremacy. Well, joining me now, Black Lives Matter organizer and activist Iman Aiton and rapper and podcaster Zubi. Welcome to both of you. Iman, I don't get this narrative at all yeah. that is coming out. It's been coming here from people as well, that somehow this is all about racism and white supremacy. It's not. It's about five poorly trained, thuggish black police officers killing a black man who did nothing to deserve it. That's it. Okay, so I just have to start with saying that video was absolutely disgusting. One of the worst videos I've ever seen right. in my entire life. It goes life. on and on and yeah, on. Yeah, it was disgusting. There was two versions of it. The body uh, the body footage and, the, of course, the pole from yes. across the road. Absolutely disgusting. So I'm absolutely horrified at the fact that, of course, it was five black people. Um, but for me personally, this is about an abuse of power and a disregard of human life, and those individuals need to be accountable for their actions. That I need to don't be disagree. Clear. What's it got to do with racism and white supremacy? So people why are also, white people responsible for this? Okay, so people could also argue that this is due to internalized racism, which is a byproduct of societal or institutional racism, also referred to as white supremacy. So black police officers become white supremacist racists who kill black people because they work in an atmosphere of white supremacy. Is that it? I can explain it a little bit better. Okay, so anti-blackness is baked into society here and in the US, and black people are not impervious to that. And so what people fail to realise... So black hold people on, are anti-black? Yep, this, exactly. So let me explain it. I know Which it's very confusing. Nonsense. So let me explain it. Let me explain it, Piers. So what people fail to realise is that when black people have to contend with racism, they can end up internalising it. And that can result in low self-esteem, self-loathing, and rejection of one's community. And when you combine those feelings, which, as we know, are also referred to as... You know, I got to stop right here for a second, man. Again, they got to somehow make this, make this fit, make this about race. You know, if, again, five black cops did this, be the guy to death, a black man, a young black man to death in a city that's majority black with the black police chief, a black female police chief. But again, it's, it's about white supremacy. White supremacy is at the root. And again, they, they, they got to sell this to you because this is what they do. She's a Black Lives Matter activist, you know, a organizer, an activist. This is what she does. She's a used car salesman for, you know, BLM. She's got to sell you this. She's got to even if you don't want to really want to buy it, even if you're like, you know what? No, I'm sorry. That doesn't make a lot of sense. I was looking for, I was looking for a pickup truck, and you're trying to sell me a van, and I really don't buy. You know that I can do the same things with the van as I could the truck, but you're trying to sell that to me. You're trying to package that and sell this to me. And I'm I'm not buying that. Just because you want you want people to buy something, you want you want something packaged a certain way, doesn't mean that people have to buy it. 
Because again, that is what you're doing. You're trying to get people to, you know what? Yeah, you're right. You know, white supremacy it doesn't matter even if a white person was in the area. White supremacy is at the root. You know, and what she's saying is, you know, it's appalling, man. You know, I agree that these guys need to be held to account. And they did something wrong. But, but at the end of the day, they were working for a white supremacist institutionalized system. And uh, that's the reason why they did it. It's, what, it's at the very root. You know, because of white supremacy, us black people have learned how to self-hate, how to self-hate. So that's why we do what we do. I mean, really? To me, that sounds like a bunch of, bunch of nonsense and a bunch of just absolute no accountability whatsoever. And you're wanting to blame other people, other groups of people. You want to blame people on their skin color. Or you want to blame something that, that some kind of institutionalized boogeyman. The monster under the bed. You know, for whatever, whatever goes on unconscious bias when you have those feelings and they are compounded by hierarchy and power it can lead to an individual abusing said power and projecting their self-hate onto another and this is it's why really in my opinion why we see black and white police officers killing more black people than we do white reason why is because of racism which includes internalized racism Pierce. right i think that's complete nonsense you would me... because you're a white man and you don't understand exactly it. i'm white therefore no, my skin you know yeah she said you know you're white you would you you would definitely say this makes sense you know what? Maybe the reason why, you know, because you're a black female BLM activist, maybe you're not seeing things clear. clear. Maybe you're seeing things wrong. You know, because you're seeing things through the lens of race. Everything is through that lens. Everything through the lens of some kind of uh, fictionalized white supremacy boogeyman. You know, again, Black people, a lot of times, I'm not saying all black people, I'm just saying a lot of people that are that are involved with things the way she is, man, they, well, you know, you don't understand, you're, you're white. Well, maybe you don't understand because you're a black, black lives matter activist. Maybe you don't understand. Maybe you're looking at things wrong. But again, they can't fathom that idea. They can't fathom the idea that, and so many people, man, and, and I think in some ways, man, she realizes this, she knows this. I think people, that, you know, again, they understand to a certain degree that, you know what, yeah, they understand that, but again, they got to sell you on that. And I think very often that's what they're doing, and they know it. I mean, just to note some statistics about the Memphis Police Department, 65% of Memphis our uh, population is black. 58% mm -hmm. of the entire police force in Memphis yeah, is black. Is black. Mm -hmm. the, the police chief is black. was a black woman, yeah. right? Uh, and so on and so on. So you take all that in totality, you think, well, okay, well, where is this institutionalized white supremacy coming from, given the institution is actually served predominantly by black people for a population that is predominantly black as well? So I don't get that point. The second point I make is this. I think there's a wider issue here. The demonization of the police in America, calling them all a bunch of vile racists, has led to many older experienced good police officers mm. who are not vile racists, quitting the force all over the country. Mm -hmm. And as a result, uh, in Memphis, for example, they had a massive reduction, 20% between 2011 and 2017 of police officers, 20% of when from mm -hmm. the force. And so to try and restore the numbers, they made it easier to become a police officer. They reduced the restrictions, reduced the qualifications. Two of the five officers involved in killing this poor young man went through that process in that period mm -hmm. of not being required to have the same sort of qualifications that they used to to join the Memphis Police Department. So you have a, a bunch of people 
being brought in who are poorly trained, yep. who are not qualified to do the job, mm -hmm. who end up committing this kind of crime. That has nothing to do with racism or white supremacy. That has everything to do, I think, with perhaps an over-demonised force in general, with a lot of bad apples in it, mm. but over-demonised force leading to many people quitting and being replaced with people just not up to the job. I think it's, well, everything that you said I don't disagree with. Um, I think it's not about conflating the two things. It's just about uh, presenting a different perspective, an alternative perspective that should be considered because internal racism is a real thing, so therefore it should be considered. You just heard when a black man about, yes, very, in very a very considered that. way mm -hmm. say that basically you're talking nonsense. No, so he never, the idea that you so can I'll, just... I'll ask that. So Zubi, do you believe that internal racism is nonsense? Do you believe that black people cannot internalise racism? Do you believe that? I don't believe that it's completely impossible. Okay. I don't think Perfect. it's impossible for you heard a that, black right? I don't think it's impossible for a person of any race or ethnicity to harbor hatred or animosity towards people who may look like them or share some things in common. What I don't what I completely disagree with is the idea that in every single one of these situations that no matter what happens we just jump to White supremacy is the problem. You, you've seen, we've seen this happen many, many times. And I agree with you. And I, agree I think with you. one of the biggest issues with it is, okay, I think one of the biggest issues as well is it, it's actually a distraction from a very important conversation which uh, Piers was leaning into there, which is that when it comes to the police in the USA and also in other countries, there's clearly an issue of character, qualifications, and prejudice. training. I and don't know prejudice. exactly... Yeah, and prejudice is the foundation for all yes, forms of discrimination, and, and including that, sexism, misogyny, racism, and the list goes on. So, if you have not dealt with it, your prejudice it can, within again, the institution, it will manifest in your racism. That's a fact. A, you're talking okay. over. That's a fact. I, I, I think I'm it's going a, just, I, I'm going exactly to. a good point. But yeah. secondly, you're bringing in prejudice, I, I think, I think bigotry, this is, racism, yeah. none yeah. of which had anything to do with this particular incident. What are you talking about? I just explained to you internal racism, which is based off of prejudice. It had nothing to do with why these. And I said it should be considered. I said it should be considered. She herself says, she goes, you know, I, I've already explained to you why this makes sense. And you're not listening to me. You're not buying it. You're the problem, viewers. You're not buying what I'm telling you. You're not buying what I'm selling. You're the problem. You know, again, man, you know, I know people, man, there's going to be a lot of people that are upset with me and, and whatever. But why do we even listen to people like her? I mean, seriously, why do we even listen to people like her? They're trying to sell a particular point. They're trying to sell a narrative. You know, that makes people, that gets people like her a platform. Puts them power. Makes them rich. Gives them purpose. You know, they're, they're trying to sell you something. They're trying to sell you this idea you know, you can't see it. You know, I understand that, yeah, the, you know, there's, it's, it's a city that's majority black. Black, five black police officers did what they did to a black man. And the police department is headed by a black woman. But just believe us, white supremacy is a cause. It's a root. It's a monster under the bed. It's a bear. Just believe us. Well, I don't believe you. Well, I just told you it is. I just explained it to you. Why don't you believe it? You're the problem. No, ma'am. Maybe you're the problem. Well, let's, let's maybe finish the point you were making. Okay. The, the, uh, okay. Even following on from that point, I'd also say w this is mind reading as well. So even trying to bring racism into this conversation, let's say these guys did not have guns and badges. Let's say these was, this was just a group of random thugs, five black men beating up another black man. Even in that situation, even outside the police force, I've still seen situations where people try to blame this somehow on this specter of white supremacy. And as I've said, frankly, it's embarrassing. And as I a black person, I have just, just as much clear. agency and accountability. Okay. Um, as I said, black people have full responsibility yep. and accountability, just like it would be ridiculous to see a video of white people beating up a white man. There are videos out there of white police beating up white people. Well, I would also make the, the point. Well, black, have you seen loads of videos of, of white people? Well, I would also, look, if I could just, just on that point, I would, make, I would also make... No, they're not rare videos. They, they just don't make the news. They don't sell. 
you know, white on white, black on black, they don't sell. Which is the reason why you're trying to sell racism as a narrative here. Because without that, it doesn't sell. It doesn't make the news. It doesn't make you important. It's just nothing for your, for you, for your organization. That's why. But the reason why you don't see white on white is because it doesn't sell. The point that if people genuinely believed it was racism, then given these scenes were as horrific as the George Floyd killing, in my, in my view, no, no better, no worse. I mean, this was, went on for a, a much longer period and was disgusting and abhorrent to watch. Completely innocent guy just getting beaten and then he died. Um, that given that, if it was racism, that people genuinely believe was the motivation. We would see the same scenes on the streets of cities all over America that we saw after George Floyd's death. We would see the riots, we would see burning cities, we would see that kind of intensity of reaction. But the truth is, even the people claiming this is about racism and white supremacy, they don't believe it. Because if they did no, believe- You know, I'm gonna go ahead and the video right here. But yeah, I totally agree with that, man. People don't buy it. They don't believe it. You know, she again, she's trying to sell this, but they don't believe it. They truly don't believe it because if they did, then we would have seen more of a reaction, more of a backlash than what we saw. You know, after George Floyd two and a half years ago, I think it was, we would see a bunch more of a reaction of the people. You know, they, 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 they burn things down. They, they rioted, whatever. Night after night after night after. But again, you don't see that now. Why is that? Because, you know, again, five black police officers did this to a black man. The element of race is not there. Even though people are trying to sell that to you, the element is not there. You know, again, they're trying to sell something to you. They're trying to make the chaos. And again, they want things to happen like they did back after, after George Floyd. They want that. You know, put some power and make some money. But again, man, people need to open up their eyes and see that and see that they're being taken advantage of. They're being used. But anyways, guys, if you would, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Thanks. <laughs>